blesses you guys this is um india and um i'm doing this out of obedience i'm doing this out of obedience and i just want to share this first heavenly father forgive all my sins lord wash me in your blood jesus your holy blood father forgive me for the sins that I'm aware of. Forgive me for the sins that I'm not aware of, Lord Jesus. I humble myself, Father. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, you speak through me. You speak through me, Father. In Jesus' name. So I've never dreamt before, and I'm just letting you know that this is my first dream. This is my first dream. So I wrote it down and, and I felt led to share. So I was walking down the street, regular, like in, in my town where I live. And I'm just walking down the street and I go and I, and, and I, there was people outside and I feel, I, and I feel, I see like a chaos and I'm like, what's going on? So I go and I look, I look to the left and I see something descending from the sky. And like the first thing I thought, I was like, oh my God, that's got to be, that's the deception. That's got to be this government, like with the aliens and stuff doing a deception. But as I go and, I, and it comes closer, I see him, you guys. When I tell you that I see Jesus, I see him, but he's not like what we think he looks like. He didn't look like that. He doesn't have blonde hair and long hair and all that. That's not how he came. He came down. And he was descending like it was like in a cloud, but he was on a horse and he was with somebody else and he was with something else. I don't know who he was with. I wasn't, I didn't see, I wasn't allowed to see that, but I know that he didn't come down by himself and he had short hair, not like, not like a fade or anything, but it was like a short hair and he was like my complexion. He was like, like dark skin and he had a crown on his head and he wasn't smiling. You guys, he was not smiling and he he was just he didn't look at me or anything but I saw him and he was coming down and as he was coming down landing on the ground I looked to the right hand side and I seen in the heavens I seen the kingdom of heaven I seen like a city in the clouds and it's like you know when you have like a mist in, in the clouds and it comes like clearer and clearer I saw like a city and I was like and I hear people saying the Messiah the Messiah and I'm like oh my god it's Jesus I'm like oh my god it's Jesus and he came down so I go and I start running. I start running because I'm looking for my husband. I'm looking for my husband. And as I keep running, I see on the, on the right side and the left side, it was these demons coming from the dirt. And they looked like gargoyles, but they were like made out of stone and they were just grabbing people. And I just kept running. And I kept running looking for my husband. I remember in my head, I'm like, he has to know. He has to know that Jesus came. Like, he has to know. And I just kept running. I've never experienced anything like this, you guys. And Lord knows I'm humbling myself, Father. I humble myself, Lord. I don't know what it is that he's doing, but I just... I feel like I have to say it, I have to speak about it. I can say that I saw Jesus. I saw Jesus and I saw his face and the crown on his head and he came down to the ground in the cloud. <laughs> God is real, you guys. God is real. Jesus is real. And I go and I run to my husband. I just weep and I just weep and I just weep. And I go and I run to my son's room. And I just, I just hug him because I don't want my son to stay. But I have faith. I have faith and I walk by faith and not by sight. I just, you guys, this is real. Humble yourself. He's coming. He's coming. Bless himself. 
And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, right white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. He had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men. My brothers and my sisters, be honest. Does this sound like the same Jesus that's being preached in all these Sunday buildings? He's coming back with fire in his eyes. How many dreams does he have to give us? How many warnings? What will it take for you to turn from your wickedness and finally follow after Jesus Christ while you have a chance? You're not promised tomorrow, and I promise you, you're running out of time. You better get right with Christ while you can, because the most terrifying thing is to come to the realization that you were an enemy of the Son of God. What will you do when that sky cracks and he's coming down with the wrath of God? Turn from your sins while you have a chance. When he told you to put that down, he meant it. When he's telling you to get right with him, he means it. And God have mercy if he tells you to go to hell, he's gonna mean it. Brother and sister, this is a true warning from the Most High God. He really did warn her in a dream to tell you to get right with God. So what side are you on? What side are you on? Whether you will or you've been faking it, soon we're gonna find out.